tapping noise you can hear in the background is the little pump on my deal heater because it's bloody cool in here and I've got the heating on. I've managed to get quite a bit done to the, the, the jet engine, uh, but I didn't video a lot of it. I've made a joint or a gasket for there. I've had all this to bits and I've sealed it all up with exhaust CR paste. So that's all built up now, ready to work. I've made a start on the gas system, uh, that's the valve. Because I'm running on propane, there'll be a PCL connector on there and the propane goes into there. And there'll be a little solenoid valve in there, which won't allow any gas through unless the engine has got oil pressure, like a fail safe. Because if you lost oil pressure, it's good night turbo charger. It happens very quickly. The part I want to make now, I'm going to make an adapter to go in there to take the actual injector for the gas. The gas injector is dead simple. It's a bit of 6 mil stainless steel pipe with some little holes drilled into it. I've done these before. They work quite well. I found a nice piece of braided hose that's going to go through an adapter in there and it's going to be able to slide in and out to get in its best place so it runs its best uh, probably a brass adapter or the grub screw to hold that into place that tape piece is blanked off there because I haven't got a 90 and the pipe's as long as it is but it has got proper ends on so I'm going to use that for the actual gas feed in you don't want to be using a rubber pipe because there's a lot of heat generated in propane, rubber pipe and heat it's not a good idea. I'm going to use brass hexi bar for the adapter. The first thing I need to do was put some 3 8 PSP threads on the outside of that. Because that's the thread that is actually on the end of the combustor, 3 8 PSP. I'll just square the end up first. It has been machined. You have to see bars are drilled in too deep to the to the seal up. That didn't do it. With all that material there, it's complete scrap. It's half an inch of ball we lost there for no reason. 16.5 appears to be the two a day for 3 8 BSP. I think I'll just want to die down it, I've got a GSCSD die. So all I'm going to do is that's the BSP, I'll just zero the hernia and the caliper on there. And that gives me a direct reading of how much material I need to take off to get it down to size. I need to take off, I'm pleased I stopped, 0 0.12 mil, which is very little. Mm. Okay, got dead on size now. That's the, the die. I'm just going to make it a little bit deeper and put a, a recess in the end because I want the, the threads all the way up to the shoulder. Die holder. Takes two different sizes, that's an adapter for the real big ones. I'm just going to use a, a span and do this by hand. All it does is keep the 
the die nice and straight on the job. I want no pitched threads. The die is not the best in the world, that's one of the reasons I'm using brass because it'll cut the thread quite easily. Started there going on nice and straight, it can't be any other but straight. Good, not too bad at all. I want to use is dead on quarter inch so I'm going to actually ream this hole out the quarter because I want it to be a really good fit so this drill is just in a quarter inch run this nice and slow just a little bit of rubber again it's actually diesel this it does work quite well on brass, but it stinks. It's taking a very, very late cut out of there, which is exactly what I wanted it to do. I put a, a doughty washer on there. That's the that what just made with screws in there. Splendidly. And that's a piece of quarter inch stainless steel tube I've welded the end up that goes in through there like that and it can slide in and out to form some sort of adjustment and that's the, the gas inlet on there like that I'm going to drill a, a hole in there and put a bolt in to be able to lock that tube in position and I'm also going to drill some little holes in the end of here, cross drill with 16th drill probably. Like with, if you start off small and you work bigger and bigger as it as it goes on. But I'll mark that, that's the flat there, that's tightened in. I'll put a little mark on there and that's the, the flat I want to put the lock and bolt in. And you will get a little bit of leakage out past the, the stem of the, the jet that's going in there, but not a great or a lot. It'll not do any harm. And I've got the bits and pieces ready to put together to make the igniter. Which energizes that spark plug and that's what lights the gas up. Put the sit on it. The parallel so it's all nice and flat. That's the top drill for six mil. This miller machine is definitely starting to make a horrible noise again. I know I did get to the thought of it.
I'm going to put four wheels in. I'm two opposite. I'm more or less opposite, not that critical as long as the, the gas gets delivered where it's supposed to be. Send our drills till it's work, I suppose. That should be enough. I can always put more in. But the air of those holes is probably not far off the area of the end of the pipe. Just a little bolt in there because once it's set up, it's set up, that's it. Now I just lock the tube in. I think I see you'll get a little bit of leakage past there, but nothing to worry about. And the gas pipe goes quite nicely under there. 